Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Crate Reloaded. So this is a brilliant free crate plugin that allows your players to buy um, crates, if you allow that, and open them to see if they are lucky enough to get something good. So uh, in my inventory we have um, a variety of things. We have a couple of keys, we have lots of different chests and boxes, and we have some items that we won. So we have some really good um, enchanted items and some just food in general. So here we have a couple of resupply chests uh, with lots of food in. So uh, there is quite a few different types of crates. So if we do see our list, this will give us a list of all of them. You can give them to your players by doing CR give and obviously the player's name and then whichever one you want. So uh, let's go with G GUI food crate. Uh, they do have rather a long name, so let's just give myself 100 of those. Now there are two different types of crates, there is sort of the physical one which I'm holding and the not so physical one in the GUI. So if we do see it R and then menu, we can have a look in the GUI. First of all we need to select our crate, so uh, there are two different ones here, let's go with the food box. So I had 15 before and I obviously gave myself 100, uh, now we have over 100 of those and we have quite a few of these as well, 197, which I obviously gave myself via the command. It will tell you how many keys you have. Um, obviously, if you uh, are not op, you will need keys. So um, you can give yourself a key by doing CR, give key, um, and then the player's name, and obviously the key, so food key one. There we go. Um, I've received a food key, wherever it is. So um, yeah, let's have a look at this. So with the mystery box, you can just right click that. Um, I have quite a few, so I'm just going to spam it and see what we get. Lots of different um, lots of different pickaxes and enchanted stuff, all good. If we do see our information on the mystery, is it mystery crate? Yes. So this tells us whether we can buy it and then how much if we can. Uh, so you can set this in the config file if you want players to be able to buy these, um, or whether you just don't want that, instead you want it as a command. So um, yeah, let's have a look at the resupply chest. This fires up a firework and um, shouldn't have done that. Has a lot of cool items in. So it has uh, fish and other food like that. So I'm just going to clear my inventory and uh, do see our menu. Select this one and we are just going to open it and see what we get. So uh, without putting down the chest, it pops into my inventory. And now let's uh, select the mystery box and open it. And this gave us a couple of cool items there. So if you see our commands, this will show us all the commands. Down here, you can do CR buy um, with the crate name. So CR buy, food crates, and then however many you want. But obviously, um, it's not for sale. So we cannot buy that one. Uh, admins can actually give players um, various keys or crates if they want to. Maybe you could set it up with Bycraft. So if a player donates, they get, I don't know, 10 keys and 10 crates or something, whatever you want. So here we are in the Crate Reloaded folder, and as you can see, there are four YML files and a language file. So in here, we have four different languages that you can set in your config file, as well as changing uh, various items and um, messages in the menu and names and colors and also the length of the roulette and CSGO um, crate, which we're going to show you in a bit. And then we have the prefix up here as well. So the other main thing you want to edit is obviously the crate.yml. This has all of the different crates. Um, it's a really huge YML. It has a list of all the items and commands it performs when you open one, the min and max rewards. So let's, um, let's go ahead and go at the top. We obviously have the name of the uh, the crate, the type, so there are lots of different types. There's supply, there's mystery, there's CSGO, um, menu, and there is roulette. So we're going to try out the roulette in a minute. Um, we have whether it's enabled to be able to be bought by uh, the players and how much it costs. The message on when the player opens it and the broadcast. So you can obviously, um, if you don't want that, you can just delete this and uh, leave these two here. We then have the uh, name of it, the law, and the effects. So um, this is pretty cool. You can just add more effects if you want. So explode if you wanted that. Not exploded, just explode. Dormant effects. So if someone right clicks it when they don't have a key, um, they would get uh, this 
effect, whatever it is. Um, then we have the rewards, and obviously you can set min and maximum, that's very straightforward. But we are going to scroll all the way down the bottom, um, to the bottom, there we go, and check out the roulette key. So this one is set up slightly differently, as it has this preview section here. Um, so uh, players can see what they actually could get. So messages, we are just going to go with uh, test and the key that's fine we are going to add explode to the dormant effect explode there we go and then we have minimax rewards so all of these it's pretty cool you can uh, obviously add more to this by um copy and pasting it and you could set uh give players a new rank by this you could give them money give them items give them something else i'm not sure uh just depends on your server really so um that's all fine let's go ahead and hop back into to the game so we're going to CR reload and here we have um, some crates the way I set them is by doing forward slash CR set roulette crates no roulette key there we go CR set roulette key looking at the chest and this will be the chest that gets opened so make sure you have a roulette key by doing CR give key LT gym and then roulette is it roulette key or roulette crate key? There we go. So it's roulette key. Now we have three of them. So let's go ahead and right click this. As you can see, there is a percentage chance of getting each one and a really cool animation. We got bedrock. <laughs> I'm not sure you'd want to give players bedrock. As you know, um, can't be destroyed very easily or at all unless you have creative. Uh, let's open another one, see what we get. We've just got 10,000. So um, as you can see, the message is popping up that we changed. Uh, which is really cool and what we're going to get out to the last one we are going to get uh, that so uh, if you left click it won't actually be destroyed even in creative which is good it shows us all the things we can get and the percentage of chance so we got 1000 10,000 and bedrock so pretty good 9% for that 6% for that 6% for that so yeah, that is the plugin. It's really cool, highly configurable, and you can just create really awesome crates for your players to maybe buy or get um, at a drop party or when donating. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.